I have two favorite hand saws and they actually happen to be Japanese pull saws. And I like them because they're lightweight, easy to hold, and one of them even has a flexible blade. Let me show you how I use it to trim down these dowels. So I'm holding the saw parallel to my piece that I have here secured to my vise. And these saws cut on the pool, hence the name, pool saws. Easy. The ability to bend the blades on these saws make it easy so that I can get into tight spaces and I could almost work around at any angle with this type of saw. And let's say if I had another board here for some reason, I would still be able to kind of wedge in there and use this saw. And the teeth on this saw are smaller than your typical hand saw. Now that we've seen the capabilities of this flexible saw, I'm going to take this one out and put a second piece of wood that I have in where I've already marked off the notches where I'm going to do a cross cut and a rip cut with this next saw. The important thing that you want to remember about using the Japanese pull saws is you want to be at a lower angle so you can keep an eye on your cut line. I'm going to make a few just small relief cuts before I go all the way in. And the teeth on this side are a lot smaller. There's more teeth, there's about, there could be up to 15 points per inch on the cross cut side. And I like it because it gives you a nice clean kerf there for tight fitting joinery. So I'm gonna switch it around now and go in for my rib cut. Again, low and tight, flip the blade over and I'll be using the larger side for rib cutting. And now I can keep an eye on my, the line that I've drawn here. So going in first, making a couple of relief cuts, and you wanna go in slow because you're cutting into the end grain, which can be a little tricky sometimes. There we go. Almost got it. And you notice that I'm holding the saw parallel to the board, whereas with other hand tools, you would hold the saw at a 45 degree angle. And I'm not going all the way to the top because I don't want this part of the blade to get stuck in the kerf. And there, there you have it. A nice clean cut that you can't make with any other saw, I highly recommend getting a nice set of Japanese pull saws. They work great in any shop and are perfect for tenons and dovetails and any other fine detail joinery.